hey what's up so we are building a contact or phone book so for that we need to make a CRUD operation and allow user to create his contacts view contacts and update contacts similarly delete so in order to do that we need model controller migration everything so we make that by PSP artisan make model I'll call it contact and I will create all so this a option will create model then factory then it will create the migration for me and it will create a resourceful controller as well okay once that is done let's go to our migration first we need to create our table okay create contacts table so our contacts table will have so first field will be user ID so for which user this contact is belongs to so unsigned integer so similarly we'll have one for name one for phone number so for now just make it minimal okay for now we have these three fields user id name phone number okay before migrating let's create a seed or let's create a factory to populate these uh, this table so we'll uh, go to contact factory so it is created when we run uh, the command okay so the name will be some faker name you can refer to this faker documentation and you can get how you can populate field so we'll use name and we'll use phone number so I have some data in users table or alternatively what you can do is uh, you can populate using a yeah, users table seeder okay we'll create that in a moment okay now that we have uh, defined factory so factory is like a blueprint for what will be there so now once factory is done we need to create a seeder php artisan make seed first we'll create users table seeder then we'll create a contacts table seeder there we go so let's go to users table seeder first and then run user class make 50 of them and then create so we need to import this as well similarly for contacts we'll use same thing but contacts or contact class and we need to import that as well okay so this factory helper will access the factory related to this contact which is contact factory so uh, now in database table seeder we need to uncomment this users table seeder and contacts there we go so now let's create migration which is so php artisan migrate with seed option oh sorry there it was typo in migration unsigned integer sorry about that let's run again so this time unknown formatter phone oh i think this is phone number So let's run again. Already migrated, seeding users table and contact table. So let's refresh our database and see uh, there are a lot of data. We seeded multiple times. No problem. If you don't want to seed multiple times, you can just truncate the table and then seed. Okay, so uh, now we have uh necessary contacts 
okay now we have a, a good amount of data to start let's create a crud so in order to do that we need to go contacts controller contact controller so uh, for api we do not need this create route because this will show the view because we will be sending requests from front end so we don't need create and edit okay so now this is the controller and we'll register our route so context related route so we'll register them on our api.php uh, and i'll register it here so there is one method called api resource so it will register api resource related route okay so let's name it uh, contact now let's see the route list uh, we got api contact so if you see here we got store index destroy update so we do not get edit and create since we deleted that also we use api resource to register route that's why it do not give us that route which is perfect for api so when someone hits this route we'll call contact all and then we need to return contacts let's see and hit that endpoint in browser so it returns all contacts so instead of uh, doing just returning uh, like this what we'll do is we'll use api resources provided by uh, laravel to uh, transform these fields so for example this uh, currently corresponds to database fields so we don't want to pass everything like user id or this primary id key or we may not want to pass this created at updated at so we can delegate all this to one class api uh, resource to transform these fields so i'm creating resource for contact so i will name it that so php artisan make resource and enter so it will create resource inside resources and contact.php so this is how it looks like so it is extending parent array so let's go to the controller and now instead of returning contacts directly that what we can do is new con contact press f5 and then we want this resource contact but uh, now you can see we have two contacts one for user contact and other for so it will create a conflict so what i will say it is use this name this as con uh, contact resource okay so now we can use contact resource as a name so now if we hit this again uh, let's see so we got this key data and everything will be inside data so now it is running everything so we can uh, modify this by going to this contact resource so let's go to this contact resource and instead of using everything we'll use our custom fields so now what we can do is let's say we want name full name and then we need to pass like this this and this corresponds to name field uh, field in our database so name similarly for mobile or we can call it phone whatever we like i'm doing this just to demonstrate what what can be doable so like this so now if we hit same route we'll we should see those okay so uh here we are returning collection so we do not we cannot use this uh, like this but we need to call the collection method on this resource so instead of doing this what we can do is double colon collection and then pass that now let's do that there we go so full name mobile and then uh, you can provide any information you want so create it at
so it it uh, when we pass created it it passed everything like time zone and everything so here we can modify this string okay so let's see there we go so we can even format this format so month day year so you see how flexible uh, flexible this is we can do any operation here which we cannot do normally okay so this is it so instead uh, in this show method what we can do is return contact and let's see we grab uh, for instance uh, let's send request contact with ID 1 there we go so we got everything so currently we are not using API resource so let's use that so new uh, contact resource contact there we go so mm, this will so here we have to use collection because we are returning collection here we are returning single resource so we can directly use this resource so now let's go to browser and yeah exactly like we wanted so index and so are done let's do store so before doing store let's go to let's go to contact model so here we'll define fill level fields first and also we'll define a relationship uh, with user similarly in user we have to define this reversely uh, has many okay so now let's go back to contact controller and let's create so uh, so we'll um, we'll require authentication uh, we'll require user to have authenticated before creating contact so we can get uh, the user we is creating by doing request user so this will give us user and since we created uh, relation so we can call contacts and then do create and we can pass request actually request all so this will create a new contact contact there we go so now let's protect everything defined relationship here let's protect everything with middleware so public actually function so we'll create construct and define uh, middleware here yeah so now we cannot access like this i think yeah we need to log in same thing for update we go to update and then but this time we can directly access contacts but before doing that we need to check if user is the user who is making this request is a uh, author of or this context belongs to the user so uh, we'll check like this so if a request uh, so if request a user uh, ID is not equals to contact user ID so user ID of contact should match the requesting users ID so if this doesn't matches will return send 401 and everything looks good we need to replace this with update so we check if user is the real user and then yeah and similarly for delete as well we need to check the authenticity of user and then we can call delete on user and then we can return response plus 200 for the successful response 
so now let's test this so we'll open up postman okay so let's send our request to api contact and then contact one so uh, this will be the get request let's create another tab with this request just to show uh, how it fails json application json and then let's send request without access token oh we are okay so that's just a uh, typo okay so it says unauthenticated so uh, before making request first we need to authenticate so go to uh, the login or we can just directly login so go to the login route api login and pass in email and password so i think we have this user already in our database let's send request we got access token and then bearer and then access token there we go we should uh, get the correct response so i think uh, so our uh, this route is working so route is working let's taste the index route yeah this is working let's send the post request with uh, body to create a new contact so let's create a name and we'll give phone number let's give phone number yeah, currently we are not validating let's give this dummy and then send request so yeah we got some stranger okay currently we are not passing id that's why it is uh, making us a bit difficult to test so for now let's pass so let's go to resource contact and okay so we got this 52 so to confirm that let's send the get request or just to 52 there we go we got 52 actually send request to contacts so currently it is uh, returning contacts all so we want to show the contact of the user that is logged in so to do that uh, we go to contact controller and then we only show the contact related to user and then call contacts like so now let's send requests there we go so we got 51 52 we created this twice since we two time okay yeah so everything works so let's delete this 51 because they are duplicates so 51 we need to send a delete request send undefined variable request we can use request helper or we can pass it request from here as well no problem okay just contact you know what i'm doing too much mistakes today so we are deleting this contact so yeah there we go so now let's see the available contacts of this user it should have deleted all oh, sorry all not just 52 one yeah okay now let's test uh, this update method so i think i've done some mistake here looks like in update yeah so we need to use contact not this is not a function contact update uh, this is good and then we do not have to use like this so it will return this update method will return true or false so we want to return this contact yeah now we are good to go so let's send up a patch request to let's update the uh, contact number 52 t2 and then we need to send a put or patch request and so for us uh, let's try sending this and so it do not changes for some reason this form data do not work here so we you need to pass the raw uh, and json and do like this so Let's change this to web tab matics and let's send request. There we go, it updated. Similarly, to update phone number, you can pass in phone number or just okay. So now uh, everything works. So uh, from next video, we'll create a front end. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.